understanding the text question number one how does the peddler interpret the acts of kindness and hospitality shown by the crofter the iron master and his daughter so the peddler had interpreted the act of kindness of hospitality that was shown by the crofter the iron master and his daughter when he actually changed at the end of the story initially when he were, he was welcomed and you know he was felt hospitable by the crofter he enjoyed that but later on he stole that money that he had been that he had shown that he had uh, seen in the crofter's house but when the iron master and especially his daughter had treated him really well in spite of knowing that yes he was a thief he was not the captain so this changed him from within question number 2 What are the instances in the story that show that the character of the Iron Master is different from that of his daughter in many ways? So the Iron Master's character is different from that of his daughter as the Iron Master when he got to know that uh, you know uh, the stranger at his house was not his old friend the captain but he was a stranger. So he wanted to just throw him out of his house. Instead the daughter of the uh, iron master she said that you know it was them it was she and her father who actually insisted and promised this man that you know he should come to our place and enjoy christmas so she was more kind she was more uh, we could say a gentle she uh, had that act of kindness more in her because she felt that she this uh, she had more sympathy towards the peddler she felt that you know probably this man had never been slept I mean, never slept anywhere properly. He never enjoyed a proper meal. Everywhere he is going, he is being chased away. That is, he was never welcomed. And today he is at our home because of us. We invited him over. We, you know, promised him that yes, we are going to have the Christmas cheer. So she was more kind. She was more gentle. She had, she had, she was more generous. And therefore, she actually, uh, you know. Uh, convinced her father that let him, uh, you know, let let's allow him to stay at our place. Question number three: The story has many instances of unexpected reactions from the characters to others' behavior. Pick out instances of all these surprises. So, number of surprises. First, we could see the uh, conversation between the crofter and the uh, and uh, the peddler. where the peddler was surprised and was in shock when the crofter had actually in the flow of the conversation had shown him the place where he had kept the 30 kronor notes secondly second instance would be that uh, how you know the iron master uh, when he got to know about the peddler's reality he asked him to leave but it was the daughter who convinced him she went against the his father she went against her father and actually you know uh, convinced her, her father that this man should stay at their place and she actually argument had an argument with her father so these were a few instances where we can say that yes one's characters one one character's behavior is actually questioning the other question number 4 what made the peddler finally change his ways so the generosity the kindness the treatment the welcoming treatment that was given to the peddler by the iron man and his daughter in spite of knowing his reality in spite of knowing his truth was actually that was actually something that changed him question number 5 how does the metaphor of the rat trap serve to highlight the human predicament so the metaphor of rat trap is what is a rat trap it is a trap where you know a bait which is probably in the case of rat it's a cheese or pork that is kept in order to trap the rat in it so just like the you know uh, rats are getting tempted by what they require what they need what they want to eat and instead they get caught similarly it's being said that the world is a rat trap people in the world everyone is having some or the other need which they want to fulfill yes and in order to achieve that many times we get in uh, we get trapped in the worldly comforts in the worldly luxury Yes so therefore it tells us about the human predicament that how you know when we want to des- when we desire something we also can get trapped into it question number 6 the peddler comes out as a person with a subtle sense of humor how does this serve in lightening the seriousness of the theme of the story and also endear him to us so the peddler comes out with a person with a sense of subtle humor 
Now, how we see this in the story, because there are various instances that, you know, where uh, you could see that how, you know, uh, uh, he's amused when he's at the Faraj, yes, when he's interacting with uh, the, uh, not actually interacting or speak, but then the entire scene where uh, he's uh, there with the master smith and his helper, or when he's at home, when the iron master mistook him, misunderstood him for the captain and said that, you know, I'm going to take you to the police. So in all these cases, we see that, you know, how uh, a sense of humor could be seen in his uh, behavior. Now, the NCRT questions. Question number one. From where did the peddler get the idea of the world being a rat trap? Or in what sense was the world a big rat trap according to the peddler? So according to the peddler, the world was a big rat trap as the people were uh, getting caught into the world which was offering them the joys and the comforts of life and in order to achieve this people are getting trapped in this worldly comforts question number two why was he amused by this idea so the rat trap was, the peddler was you know amused by this idea because his life was completely different he was the one who was making the rat traps and selling it and here he felt that how you know everyone in this world is actually getting trapped in this and you know the world is a rat trap and people don't even realize this so this he felt was very very amusing to him question number three did the peddler expect the kind of hospitality that he received from the crofter or why was the peddler surprised when he knocked on the door of the cottage so peddler was surprised uh, when he knocked on the uh, so when the peddler knocked on the door of the cottage he was very surprised because when the old man opened the door he greeted him well he welcomed him unlike uh, people who used to chase him away make faces looking at him would never want to entertain him and here there was the old man who invited him over had uh, you know had a good conversation with him he shared food with him shared tobacco with him and even you know talked about his uh, previous uh, of his past uh, that uh, of his past life and uh, about he even showed him he trusted him and showed him the money where it was kept and how much amount of money was there now question number four why was the crofter so talkative and friendly with the peddler? So the crofter was so talkative and friendly with the peddler because the crofter was living in that house all alone. He had no wife, no children staying with him and he was all alone. So in that loneliness, he would, he, so he was so used to that loneliness that he was actually waiting to talk to someone. So he became really very friendly and talkative when the peddler came to his house for shelter. He thought that, okay, finally, you know, there is someone whom I can talk to, I can spend time with, I can share food with and I also have a happy time. Question number five. Why did he show the 30 kronor to the peddler? So, uh, the uh, crofter, when he told the peddler that, you know, he used to work as a crofter in the Rams for, uh, Ramsjo iron field uh, in his previous days. And now he's work, you know, all that he's earning is because of the cow who's giving him so much milk that he's selling it out to the creamery. And then he, in the flow of the conversation, he said that, you know, then this is the 30 kronor that I earned from it last time. So probably, you know, this man who was, you know, living a life all lo in, in the loneliness. So he was waiting for someone to talk to. And in that conversation, in that friendly situation, he did not realize that he shouldn't have trusted the stranger by showing him the money. Yes. Question number six. Did the peddler respect the confidence reposed in him by the crofter? So the peddler did not give respect to the confidence that was reposed him in the crofter initial, in the initial part of the story as he actually the next day when both went to their own ways, he actually came back to his place and he had uh, stolen that money he stole that money from his house and he went away he even made a plan of not getting caught and therefore he entered the wood avoided the public highway and it was much later with the kindness with the generous act and treatment of the iron master and his daughter that he realized his mistake and he wanted to change himself and that was when he returned the money now think as you read what made the peddler think that he had indeed fallen into a rat trap or why did the peddler keep to the woods after leaving the crofter's cottage? How did he feel? 
so the crafter once he uh, sorry uh, the peddler once he uh, you know uh, once he took the money from the crafter's cottage he decided to avoid using the public highway why because he thought that if he would travel on the public highway probably someone is going to catch hold of him so in order to escape in order to escape without being found he decided that okay let's just travel through the woods that is to the forest however you know he was moving he tried to move in the straight direction but every time he was just moving around the same place the same area of the forest and that is when he realized that yes he has actually fallen into a rat trap the wood the money uh, you know that he had stolen actually seemed as a bait and in order to escape that he turned towards the woods and now he had fallen into uh, the trap of the wood where he is unable to come out of the forest he is just moving in the same area for the past few hours question number 2 why did the iron master speak kindly to the peddler and invite him home or how did the iron master react on seeing the stranger lying close to the furnace so the iron master when he was on one of his rounds of inspection at night he entered the forge and he saw the stranger the peddler there so when he walked up to him he uh, you know saw his face he mistook him for one of his old friends from the comrade that is the captain and then uh, you know he just uh, you know uh, thought that his friend you know he looked at his appearance and he felt sad for him he even started talking to him that you know he shouldn't have resigned from his place had he not done that he would have been in a better place and then since it was christmas the very next day he wanted to invite him over his old friend over for the christmas eve next question why did the peddler decline the invitation or why did the peddler decline the invitation of the iron master so the peddler declined the invitation of the iron master as he was afraid that you know once he would go to the house he would probably be recognized he would not be able to escape so he was fearful of the fact of going to the mainers house now think as you read what made the peddler accept edler williamson's invitation so the peddler accepted edler williamson's invitation when this young lady actually told him with great confidence with great warmth that she would allow him to leave the place as he as freely as he came so with her generosity with the way she was talking she was able to actually convince the peddler to come to home question number 2 what doubts did edla have about the peddler so edla had certain doubts regarding the peddler and that was she felt that the peddler was not even well educated and probably he was not the captain question number 3 when did the iron master realize his mistake so the iron master realized his mistake that he had mis uh, you know uh, understood or he, he has uh, actually uh, uh, <clears throat> the iron master realized his mistake of uh, misunderstanding the peddler for his old friend the captain when uh, the peddler came in uh, you know came uh, to the room in the morning all dressed nicely in neat clothes clean clothes with hair trimmed beard trimmed and in the broad daylight he could see his face clearly and that's when he realized that he has misunderstood him to be his friend question number 4 What did the peddler say in his defense when it was clear that he had he was not the person the iron master had thought he was so when the uh, iron master realized his mistake so he questioned the peddler uh, angrily that why had he followed why had he not uh, uh, spoken the truth so that's when the peddler you know he said in defense that you know uh, i never told you uh, that yes i am your friend instead i even declined your offer of coming to your house all i did was to stay i all i was uh, all i wanted was to sh uh, seek shelter at the forge but it was you and your daughter who convinced me and forced me to come to your place for christmas question number 5 why did edla still entertain the peddler even after she knew the truth about him or why did edla plead with her father not to send the uh, peddler to a uh, peddler out of the house 
so edler entertained the peddler even after knowing the truth about him because she knew that uh, this man was uh, a stranger who was not having a good time in his life and you know having a conversation with him last night and looking how he and you know having a look at her, his pre, uh, physical appearance she realized that this man you know uh, was uh, had actually not enjoyed a proper meal any time he would always chased away and he was always afraid and fearful as if he was a thief or he was running away from a prison so she said that it was them the father and the daughter who had actually convinced him to be here and celebrate christmas so on the eve of christmas they shouldn't be asking him to go out instead they should keep their promise they should treat him well they should give him food they should enjoy the christmas eve with him now why was edla happy to see the gift left by the peddler so edla was happy to see the gift that was left by the peddler because that showed that this man had changed initially they knew that yes he was a stranger he had stolen money he was a thief but now when the gift had the money back it had a rat trap and it had a, and it had a beautiful letter that showed that yes the man had changed question number 2 why did the peddler sign himself as captain von stale so the peddler had signed in the letter as captain von stale because he is mentioned in the letter that he has changed to the good way he's changed to a good, to be a better man only because he was raised to the position of being a captain he was treated as if he was a real captain and therefore he wanted to be as good as a captain and therefore he said you know signing off that yes as captain von stale now how does the peddler interpret the acts of kindness and hospitality so this part we have already discussed now some short answer type questions question number 1 why did the peddler derive pleasure from his idea of the world as a rat trap so the peddler derived pleasure or he was amused by the idea of the world being a rat trap because he himself was a rat trap seller and he felt that people you know unknowingly you know are getting trapped into the riches into the luxuries into the little joys and comforts of life without being aware that this is all a trap for them it is all like a, a rat trap for them question number 2 why did the peddler knock on the cottage by the road side how was he treated by the owner of the cottage so the peddler had knocked on the cottage by the road side because you know he would walking uh, since morning and he was tired and he saw the uh, cottage there and it was getting dark so he thought that let me ask the person for some shelter and when he knocked the door the old crofter opened the door for him welcomed him inside he even gave him food to eat he gave the him the tobacco he had a good time with him they played cards and they discussed a lot though basically the crofter you know he discussed a lot about his personal life with him he even told him about the profession he was uh, into when he was young and he even showed him the money question number 3 what hospitality did the peddler receive from the crofter so the peddler received was the hospitality that the peddler received from the crofter is about the generosity the kindness was there yes he was very welcoming there was warmth and affection yes there was longness longness to talk to someone so you could even combine both the answers here question number 4 what do we learn about the crofter's nature from the story the rat trap So if we talk about the crofter's nature then he seemed very welcoming he seemed very uh, kind and generous as he shared his food you know and he it also tells him that how lonely he was that when a stranger came to his house he did not doubt him he did not uh, felt as if he should not and allow him in his place or he should not talk so much to him but he trusted him with even his personal uh, life and he uh, spoke to him at length Yes so this tells him about his uh, you know uh, loneliness that he was facing in his life and also about how badly he wanted to speak to someone and how kind he was to allow uh, a stranger to come to his place and stay the night and uh, how generous and kind he was to actually share his food and everything with him so with this we've come to the end of the story wherein we have done the narration the summary and the ncert questions and the cbse questions so the good part the moral of the story is that goodness lies in every person 
you know leaving aside the circumstances of life one's life condition you know goodness is there in everyone is just that sometimes the situations of our life suppress the good part of who we are but a little act of generosity a little kindness a little uh, positive outlook or a positive uh, you know positivity would actually bring that inner goodness on the forefront yes so we must take this as a lesson so i see you next very soon till then thank you and all the very best